very much, representatives of the media. It's my great uh, honor to speak today as an incoming member of the Security Council for the first time and on the day of solidarity with Palestinian people. My message today was clear. We need urgent ceasefire. We need a humanitarian access to the civilians. We have to end this war and conflict. We have to find a political solution to the situation. And the only political solution and the security for Israelis to live in peace is a two-state solution and the recognition of Palestine. It's horrific, the images of Gaza. Every child that lives today in Gaza lives in the most dangerous circumstances in the world. Slovenia increased tremendously humanitarian support to civilians in Gaza. We have to protect civilians and children. I'm also concerned about the situation in the West Bank, the violence by settlers and the increase of deaths. We have to make sure that the violence stops the hostility stops, that all the hostages are released and also in exchange of Palestinian prisoners. So I commended the role of Qatar, Egypt and also US to achieve the agreement and I call on everyone that this humanitarian pauses with humanitarian assistance shall turn into a permanent ceasefire. This is urgent today and Slovenia will always strive to peace and stability and safety and dignity of citizens all over the world when we will also once become a full or a non-permanent member in the Security Council in the next two years. Thank you. Are there any questions? Minister, uh, the issue with China Central Television, you just mentioned that the only solution of the Palestinian question is the two-state solution. But do you think it's still possible to have the two-state solution that the UN General Assembly passed decades ago? I honestly believe it's a historic opportunity and urge necessity that we find a political solution, no military one. That is why I urge strongly for a permanent ceasefire. And a political solution meaning I strongly support the idea of a peace conference with concrete peace plan and further steps that lead to a two-state solution and the recognition of Palestinian state. I think this moment is now. I think that the situation is devastating and we don't want to see further killings of innocent civilians. That is why I think we have to be wise, we have to listen to each other and the Security Council needs to step up its efforts. Thank you.